Where is the reverend? Thank you. 
Good morning, Hi. members of the press, and let me recognize the presence of uh, Reverend uh, Chandra, the Secretary General, Acting Secretary General of NGC, the National Chairperson for Mobilization. Let me say that uh, the issue I am going to tackle this morning is one issue that Reverend has been talking to me about and uh, wanted to see that the issues surrounding this same issue are resolved to amicable. So Reverend, welcome. And, uh, one of the people that I should uh, also uh, recognize pertaining to this statement is the late Father Chilinda. May he so rest in peace. What I am going to say today is what Father Chilinda wanted to see me do, as I am going to explain in the statement. Let me start by saying that I am a Christian, like many of the Zambians who believe in truthful reconciliation and forgiveness. During my self-imposed political incarnation, I have reflected on a number of issues that I thought I should address today. Among them, I could have stepped on many people's toes unknowingly and injured them. I unreservedly apologize to you all. Also, wish to specifically single out one press briefing I held where I questioned the association of our head of state, His Excellency President Edgar Chavalungu and Mr. Baugen Singh. Members of the press, as many of you may be aware, our offices as politicians are viewed as voices of the people and a lot of information verified and unverified is passed on to us. In about August, September 2019, my office was bombarded with unsolicited complaints. And at that time, I thought it was only right that I bring this information to the public. I have, however, realized that I should have cared enough to engage the people involved, or even to take time to verify the raw information that came to my attention in the line of my political duty as an opposition leader. Having said this, I want to unreservedly, I repeat, having said this, I want to unreservedly apologize to the President of the Republic of Zambia, Mr. Edgar Chagwanungu, for the misunderstanding that he is a drug dealer as insinuated by some sections of the media then. I shall also be quick to mention that at no time did I verify the information I was given regarding Mr. Bowden Finde, who I also unreservedly apologize in October 2020, I tendered an apology to the head of state, and I think it is my duty to once more clear this matter, which in my view has created a lot of tension among us, the involved persons. It is only right that we flip a new page as a sign of brotherly love and genuine reconciliation. Further, let me tender my apology to the immediate families of His Excellency the President, Mr. Edgar Chagalungu, 
and Mr. Valden Findlay, who could have been directly or indirectly affected by my statement. Ordinarily, I should have quietly approached the aggrieved persons privately, but because the matter has been in public domain, I thought it is only right that I use the same medium I used then to share this information. My prayer is that His Excellency Mr. Eddie Gachagwalungu and Mr. Bowden Finley find it in their hearts to forgive me. I am, however, reminded by a Zambian singer Ephraim song, Ndumun to fear the modi monaine ganaka. And that to error is human, but to forgive is divine. I unreservedly apologize to you, Your Excellency the President, and to you, my brother, Mr. Bowden Findlay, for the statement issued then. I tender this my apology without any prejudice or malice. In conclusion, let me inform the general membership of the NDC and the nation at large that at an appropriate time, they will be told the NDC's next political direction after the failed alliance with the NDC. In the meantime, the disciplinary committee angling the cases for the suspended officials will be sitting tomorrow to decide their fate. Countrymen and women, I want to thank you. Thank you very much. I'll ask the, the reverend to close for us in prayer. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let us bow down in prayer. The Bible says, If my people who are called by my name, they shall humble themselves and seek the guidance of God. It when God shall hear in heaven and heal their land. God, we come before you because you are the maker the creator and the sustainer and the redeemer of our life. Father, today, almighty God, we have come to witness the forgiveness which your son is honorable. He has asked almighty God to his excellency, the president of the Republic of Zambia, Dr. Edika Chagwalungu, and oh God, to Mr. Findre, to whatever Lord, he, Almighty God, he made a mistake. Any statement which he made, he have come before you, God, and before the public, and before your throne of grace, to say, Lord, be a Christian nation. We are there to reconcile one another, and we are there to forgive one another. Your son has bowed down before you. Lord, wash, Almighty God, all the sin of your son. And Lord, let your son find a room in your heart, and let your son... Honorable Chishimakam, we find a room in the heart of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zambia, Dr. Edgar Chagwalung, and Mr. Findo Almighty. Father, we know that, Lord, this forgiveness, it Almighty God build your nation, and it will build, O oh God, confidence, Lord, in your people. Father, we pray and ask you, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, today and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay. Namibia, this is your time. Do your best. Hope your record is your time.